After college, couple of my college friends decided to go on a camping trip. We headed up to a cabin camping site near the Canadian border. We all decided to go for a little hike to stretch out our legs when we got there. After unpacking some of our gears and some food, we headed off into the woods. There was a hiking trail and we figured we will be back in time to cook dinner. We didn't know there was a thunderstorm that came through the area, two weeks before and washed a couple of the trail signs. Instead of following the right trail, we actually follow a deer trail and lead us deeper into the woods. It was getting cold and dark. We decided that it's probably easier if we stop to spend the night at that area. This one guy I didn't know him, pulled out a whole boiled chicken. It was funny to do something to get the girl's attention. He was attracted to one of the girls. So to our disbelief, he thought it was funny to call the ancestors to come and eat the chicken with him. Well that just scared everybody and some people got really upset. I wasn't a big believer in this so I just sat and observed from the side. Needless to say, after the whole incident died down we decided to have two people up at all time. Just to make sure no wildlife would bother the group while sleeping. The first shift was two guys. During middle of the night when they started to hear something strange coming from the trees. It was getting closer to the campsite, and the two guys on guard was getting scared. At first, they thought it was a deer but as it got closer they realized there was two figures. The two figures stopped. One guy said, point the flashlight at the noise. What they saw was so horrifying. There were two kids in dirty ragged clothing staring back at them. The weird noise that they heard was actually the tiny bells that those kids wore around their necks. Their eyes glowed green when the flashlight shine on their face. The two figures turned around and walked back into the darkness. The two guys on guard were so scared and one peed on himself. They both decided to stay up because they couldn't fall asleep anymore. The next morning we woke up and picked up all our gears and moved out. We finally found the way back to our cabin, and the two guys on guard decided to tell us their horrifying encounter. Three of the females cried. They had a bad dream about someone walking on them and touching them the whole time. We thought it was one of the guys playing a trick on us. Most of us knew we wouldn't be doing stupid tricks like that when out in the woods. A lot of the folks in the group blamed the guy that was waving his chicken around yesterday. One guy almost beat him up. We decided that it's just better to go home and forget about this. We packed up our camping gears and left. This camping trip was a true experience. It the most scary and memorable of them all.